Good morning, good morning. This is such a beautiful day, Sunday morning. And I'm out in the front yard and I wanna show you all a few things that I got going on in our neck of the woods. And I'm so excited. Y'all know I don't like being in front of the camera, but I'm taking one for the team. So let me turn you around. Well, yeah, well, let me turn you around. Let me show you what's going on. All right. So, y'all know this is my turmeric bed, and so, um, I've told you that the entire plant is usable. We've used the rhizome. Many people use it in their food, um, capsules for inflammation, and then the leaves are usable as well. I wrap my fish in it, and I put it on the uh, grilled um, and use it like that but then another thing that I was thinking to myself you know you're thinking to yourself hmm there should be something else I could do with these leaves so I thought about um, using them in my soap because you know I did make some turmeric soap with the uh, with the rhizome so I um, went back and I harvested some of the leaves. And I said, well, shoot, I probably could use it in a tea because I used the uh, flour for my tea. So I started, I harvested some and I put it in the dehydrator, y'all know. I will dehydrate some stuff. So I put it in the dehydrator and you talking about something Thing that socks sold to you smells good tastes good it has this deep floral undertone and when you drink it you could smell it smells like roses it's an awesome beverage and if you all have not if you all have not saved your turmeric leaves it is not too late I, um, I'm harvesting mine now, as many as I can, and one thing I want to show you that I, I've harvested this whole tray, this tray of leaves, it's full of turmeric leaves, and I want to dehydrate them, so even this, I know it looks rough, but what I did was I just came around and cut that part off because it's starting to do what uh, everything does. It goes back into the earth. And I just cut that off and use it because otherwise that's a whole leaf that would have gone to waste. Cutting it. Everywhere is green, I mean, uh, brown, and I cut that off. And we have another leaf that's usable. And I cut that part off as well. And these just have the tips that are brown. And I cut that tip off and save the rest of them. I got to go back through. Because at first I was like, hmm, I'm just going to throw them away. Then I thought about not being wasteful. And um, just cut off the part that's turning brown. So I was showing Sister Sue my tomato. She didn't think I had no tomato. Finally got me some tomatoes. I did a video, but for some reason it's 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 been difficult for me to get my videos uploaded. And this I put one strawberry plant in here and it took off. And then some more tomatoes. 
and they may not make it, but I do have some in the house that I um, harvested. This bed, we put onions in it, and I had purple hull peas in it, and they're sprouting. That's okay. This bed, I thought this was onions, but clearly this is um, white Russian kale. Then I had a volunteer cucumber plant, and then look what showed up. And I got another one right there, which is fine. And I did a video of uh, this bed. I put, I mended the soil, and then I put um, my garlic in it. And it looked like somebody been over here. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, that's that mint. And this is my uh, lemon balm. That's that tomato plant. And one of those tomatoes was eaten, so I decided to harvest the bigger ones. I put some greens here, and I still have peppers on the vine. And there's a green, a volunteer. Another tomato. And I took one of the uh, okra plants out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and take these down as well. Got more peppers here. We got lettuce. And oh, these that's a volunteer uh, pepper plant. And this one is as well. So is this one. Then I put greens there. And pepper plant. Another pepper plant. Oh, it's, oh that's a bell pepper plant. It's another pepper plant. I got peppers on there. And I need to water this. And this is, this finally started producing. I harvested some of these peppers the other day. And then I got my famous um, shoot. I don't know what it is. Roselle hibiscus plant. And I've harvested from this three times. It's coming to an end. Now they say you can, um, you can propagate it, so I'm going to try that and see what happens. And then here's some more peppers over here. So, just a little bit of what's going on in the front yard. And my um, blueberry plant. Every spring, it does really well, and then it fizzles out. So if anybody know anything about the blueberry plant, do I need another one? Can I propagate from that? And then my fig tree. I'm going to put that in the ground this year. But I just want to jump on quickly to wish you all a great Sunday. It's beautiful. These not going to make it. But anyway. Uh another bell pepper so we'll be able to get that one but I just want to jump on show you all what was going on in our neck of the woods in the front yard thank you for looking at the video of uh, us clearing the land uh, we're excited about that but I'm really I'm really excited about that I mean y'all got if you don't try nothing else I have suggested you got to try that and it has healing properties. It's good for the inflammation. It's good for, uh, it has a lot of antioxidants in that plant. So don't sleep on the turmeric leaves. So take the time to enjoy your view and have a great 
day. Much love.